Alright, so now to B tapping. B tapping, the short answer is you should B tap almost everywhere. And you should tap B a lot as well. A good place to show how much you should tap B, which is what I'm going to do first, is Drake Lake. And right now I've got a straightaway set up. And I find that at zero um, speed, right right when you start the uh, course, it's a very opportune time to lose B presses because you're transferring from A to B. This wouldn't be a problem if you use Z. You could develop the same cues that you used um, with Z and not have to worry about the A button at all. I find A button very comfortable. I guess I missed that in my previous one. But anyways, tapping B. Back to tapping B. Uh, I'm going to accelerate and start tapping B. So it's fairly fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, it's hard to go too fast. And when you're going as fast as possible, you get up to about 129. That's about the fastest you ever get in the game. And at the very start here, if you use A like I do, it's a very opportune time to lose B presses. More important than the speed, however, is the consistency at which you tap B. You want to be consistently banging it out. Um, in terms of beat, beats per minute, um, I think it's something like 160, 140, something like that. Um, but beats per minute, but I don't know precisely. Um, hopefully that footage um, showed about about how much you should be tapping B. If I tap it as very fast as I can, I lose a little bit of consistency. So I tend to go for like more consistent presses like this. And then especially on like long categories like all championships, I can do this for an extended period. Cause it's not near my max try and hold the controller steady. And if I ever feel like I'm on a straightaway and I'm not focusing on turning, which is the main thing you should be focusing on, this should be just an autonomic reflex. Like you shouldn't have to think about this. This should just be standard and you should think about not doing it when you're going around turns. So that's going to be the next thing I'm going to go over here is when you should not be tapping B. Um, when you're tapping B and turning, you kind of turn slowly like that. I guess it's a bad example because I don't have max power. I'm just going to get that straightaway lined up again. So that's kind of the longest straightaway I can think of in this course. So when you're turning while tapping B, Wrong way. you have to make very sharp inputs to do a sharp corner. And you end up losing a lot of speed with that. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. But, if you stop tapping B around corners, you get a very sharp turn, but you don't lose all the speed. So around like, especially sharp corners like those two. In small corners like this, you shouldn't really, or like small adjustments or turns, even this one, you shouldn't really be doing as much. But sharp turns like this, especially at high speed, if you just let go of B, you'll have a, a, a much easier time controlling your craft around the corner and 
in, co in combination with moving the stick backwards and stopping tapping B, then you can turn in a manner that loses the very least amount of time. Um, if you tap B, or if you don't hold backwards just a little bit, um, you won't have the ability to turn very sharply that you see in world record runs. Uh, sometimes there's just extremely sharp turns that seem to lose only about 10, uh, 10 kilometers an hour. And that's because they do, they stop tapping B and they hold their stick back to about that position, just, just off of center um, and back. And they do that for a frame or two and then they let go of it and then they're in a line and then they start tapping B again. If I tap it as fast as I can like this, I don't get any advantage over tapping it consistently. Now I'm going to add in waves. Waves are also something you have to consider when you're tapping B. When you're going on waves, going up that wave, for example, you're going to want to be tapping B on the way up the wave, but when you're on the way down, you don't really want to be going towards the center plane of the water. Another reason you don't want to be tapping B on the way down a wave is you'll splash into the bottom of the wave or into if you got uh, air off the wave or into the water like that and you'll splash and you'll lose a little bit of time. So you're going to want to do it up and then if you do it in the air like that you get that splash. So you don't want to do it when you're directly above the water and you don't want to do it when you're at the bottom point of the wave cycle. When you're at the very lowest vertical position that you're at going over the wave, you don't want to go down because you'll be in about the right spot anyway. Three, two, one. The other thing I want to mention is that when you're in the air, tapping B actually brings you back down. And it brings you down hard, like that. And you can take advantage of that, like I just did. And the way you take advantage of that is by tapping it a couple times while you're in the air. You tap B a couple times, only a couple times and then you stop tapping B right before you hit the surface of the water. If you do that you won't get a splash and in combination with maybe a slight nose turn down you can get optimal times. This course is an excellent one to learn the waves on in combination with tapping B because those waves that you go over there everywhere else you should be like just mashing B almost into this turn and then letting go and turning going over the wave, and in the air tapping the B button a couple times and then stopping the tapping before you hit the water so that you don't get a splash. And those are really the optimal times to tap B. If you're on a straightaway and you're anywhere but the bottom of a, um, a wave or at the or in the air just about to hit the water, you shouldn't really be holding back from tapping B. Tapping B to getting records is absolutely essential. You must tap B quite a bit. It's, it's not necessarily about how fast you can tap it. It's about how consistently you can tap it over a period. Uh, because you're not just playing for the one minute it takes to get a PB, usually you're doing a lot of attempts. So you're gonna wanna get comfortable tapping B so you don't even have to think about it. So you can focus on the stick and how you turn. So that's going to be all I'm going to be ta uh, <laughs> tapping. 
all I'm going to be covering in this one. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.